Hey guys, Quicksilver Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Ultimate General American Civil War. This is episode 7 of our Confederate Let's Play using the JMP mod. We are on to the Battle of First Winchester, and these two divisions here are what we'll be taking. So I did a little bit of reorganizing of the troops, took some feedback and suggestions from the comment sections. So First Division and Second Division are led by Brigadier Generals. Actually, most of the divisions are until you get to Second Corps. Just because I really don't have anybody left, you want to take a peek at my barracks, it's pretty bare. Um, there's not a lot going for me, which is pretty, pretty awful in the grand scheme of things. Our armory, on the other hand, we have really good armories. It's, uh, we, we definitely are running at a officer deficit at the moment, so. Um, that also leads into the next point at, uh, I think Gaines Mill is the next major battle, we can technically take 55 total brigades. There's no possible way we can create 55 total brigades with the amount of officers we have. And I'm just not sure, like, with the manpower and, uh, <laughs> our armory that we could feasibly do that either. So for career points, I decided to stop at Army Organization 5. We'll try our best to create 40 brigades, but it'll probably be closer to, like, 30, 35, I'm imagining. And then we went into politics, a little in it, into economy, got that two logistics and two in training. So what I'm thinking moving forward is, I, I actually don't know what I'm thinking, to be honest. I, I kind of want to go to six reconnaissance. I think that would be absolutely fantastic. And we'd have one more point. So I, I could put like a second point into economy or I could put another point into politics. Um, that sounds good. After Gaines Mill might do, like, two in training. Actually, I need to see where we need to go for army organization. I'm only going to do the bare minimum for army organization every time. And the bare minimum being bare minimum of what a scenario requires. There are some scenarios that require three core, but, um, I think we have the ability... Yeah, we can already create three core, and we can already create 20 dudes per core. So the next logical step really is getting to, I guess, Army Organiza Organization 9, which allows you to take those 24 brigades per, per corps. So that is something to keep in mind. So it's almost like an all or nothing kind of situation here where it's like we stay at Army Organization 5 or we go up to 9. As far as what we're taking into this battle, you can see here we have seven total infantry units. We have two artillery units. And then we have this new unit here. It's not necessarily new, but we took some advice. We merged Forest's three stars that didn't have the greatest perks into our art pre-existing zero star unit. So we got a two star unit out of it. And I think that's the better way to go because I don't really need two skirmish cavalry, at least for how I play. I think I play better with the with the melee cav. But um, in this scenario, I want to try out the skirmishing cav. This scenario is a little, little interesting. Um, I will say I've been trying to tweak the settings in the mod a little bit more. Um, this, this mod's very difficult and it makes life very difficult for recording. Uh, I try to only spend so much time recording and I spent way too much time on this scenario bashing my head into it. So I had to lower, I think I lowered the AI scaling and AI experience. I turned off random deployment zones, so on top of that I'm playing MG Lite, and previously I'd already turned off chain charging, so those are the current changes to the config files, um, kind of based off of some some advice from like Kanda Kraut and Gonzo Gamer, because to be fair, I, I wasn't having fun. Even though I was getting through the scenarios, you guys didn't see on the back end how many times I had to repeat these scenarios because I was just getting my butt handed to me. And it felt like I was winning more off of a off of like AI luck than off of skill. And that it's not very conducive to recording YouTube videos. Um I'm not quite there to, you know, playing on the extreme hardest difficulty of games and doing like challenge runs and whatnot. I'm at the moment I'm just playing to have fun and to show you guys content. So that is our army going into the Battle of First Winchester. You can see the the rewards here, $75,000, 4,300 men, 5 reputation, which is fantastic. I love reputation. Reputation gets you some awesome stuff, and it's kind of a, 
well, I, I shouldn't say kind of. We are attacking first uh, in the Battle of First Winchester. And drag our core on to here. This number is inaccurate because we can only take 10 brigades in. But the first, Win or first Winchester, 25th of May, 1862. We've decided to launch offensive operations on the Union forces in the Shenandoah Valley, preventing them from reinforcing their offensive against Richmond. We must use a bold strategy by employing audacity and rapid, unpredictable movements on the whole valley. Therefore, you'll use a small, flexible force. The rest of your army will take position on the outskirts of our capital. The Union commander of the Department of the Shenandoah, M.G. Nathaniel P. Banks, is attempting to reorganize his army at Winchester and defend the town. Move swiftly and attack that Union force. So, we have to take the town. It's a pretty difficult scenario, as I've said. Um, and this is just going forward on most videos because this mod is very difficult and I've not really won a battle the first time through. I've already played this battle, I've already lost millions of times, so hopefully on these new settings I can actually win. On the battlefield, it seems that our Federals decided to give a battle and deployed around the town of Winchester. Scouts report that General Banks has no more than four brigades, supported by artillery and light units. You'll have at your disposal a significant force to crush the Federal Army and capture the city. The enemy is outnumbered, so we need you to prevail on the field, bring us victory, and inflict at least 30% more casualties to the enemy. Godspeed, General. So here's our army, we'll deploy it. Um, spoiler alert, there's a nasty cavalry unit over here that likes to immediately charge. So I'm probably going to deploy more along these lines, and I will be back once the troops are moving out. Alright, forces moving on out. You can see we've detached a bunch of skirmishers. I think our plan is to move down into this area. There's not a lot of cover. But, uh, I don't know, maybe we could take this tree and move out from there, um, as opposed to hitting the large blob tree. We just have to take the town of Winchester. I say just, it's a lot more difficult than, you know, just. So let's, uh, let's continue moving on out. And then where's, I don't know why you guys move like that, that was a little bit weird. As I said, there is a large group of cavalry in that corner generally, and it's not a good time. I feel like our guys are moving a little bit slow. As I said, I have been messing around with the config files, trying to tweak the difficulty to something that is in between challenging and fun. I, tr I tried doing this on brigadier general difficulty for some uh but for, for some people that said uh, you know try, try out brigadier general difficulty and it was way too easy so i uh, just trying to make something that's in between brigadier and mg light i guess the the difference between brigadier general and mg light is just absolutely astounding it's it's absolutely crazy the difference to be honest. I feel like I've reduced the speed too much over here. The speed over here is pretty crazy. I'm always I'm always blown away when I can't see the enemy, but the enemy can see me. It's always always interesting. I I, need, I probably need to go back to the config files. I think I changed the speed almost to like the base speed or something because this is way way too slow. At least for my, for my liking. Okay, need you guys to move forward, please. All right, there's some skirmishers out over there. I uh, need you guys to continue moving up. I need you guys to continue moving up. I guess that cavalry maybe, maybe went away. Apologize if I sound a little sick. I seem to have something. I don't know what it is. Like a, maybe a chest cold or something. Not entirely sure. I don't feel sick until I start talking and then it's like, ugh. I'm all clogged up and everything. But I wanted to get a video out to you guys because I haven't, I haven't been making much content. Um, it was my birthday, you know, work's been busy, not been feeling the greatest, and then bashing my head into this game and Ultimate General American Revolution hasn't really put out any new content. So, 
That's always tough when there's a lack of content to play with. That sounds like somebody's charging me. Um, I didn't think wavering units could charge, so that's interesting. But we'll we'll charge them back, see if we can break them. They're routing. Hopefully, man, I would love to break them. Doesn't look like we're going to break them. So we'll just put try to put a wall of skirmishers up over there. And then continue over here. Oh boy. Okay. So that's a that's a bunch of skirmishers over there. Can we do something like that? You guys move up over there. And then this artillery push up. Keep pushing up. Oh. They're back already. Nope. Didn't mean to click you. They're wavering. I would love to jump on them with my cav, but I'm a little little paranoid. I don't know where the enemy went over there. I wasn't paying attention enough. So that's that's bad on my part. Okay. Oh, oh, Jesus, come on, just move forward. And you guys move up. Oh man, they're behind us, and I heard melee. How is this unit getting into melee with us? I didn't think... I didn't think they could. Unless they were, like, steady. And there are so many skirmishers. Holy cow. Okay, I'm just gonna charge into them. Again, I know I'm not melee cav, but this is getting a little obnoxious. Yankee cavalry maneuvering. Oh, now they show up? Oh, god. Oh, they're right there. Okay. That's not terrible, but they're charging, which is terrible. Can you guys please? Shoot the artillery. And then somebody killed Dole's Brigade Commander Colonel General Dole's. Okay, move up over here. We're out in the open, they're not. This is not not good positioning. Hopefully we're hitting their artillery. Did that unit break? I don't... I didn't see it. Come on, get that artillery out of there. <sighs> another... another commander killed! As I said before, we are at a... We are at a officer deficit, so... All of these commanders dying is just absolutely horrible. But we're in a bad position because there's no cover and the enemy is just... They've got amazing, amazing positions here. I'm assuming that cavalry's gone because I don't see it. Alright, they're gonna go around that way, see if they can clear out some cab over there. They're not cab, skirmishers over there. Did we get their artillery? Have to that that cab looks like it's going to try. Come on, hit them in the flank, hit them in the flank. Eager. Come on, keep shooting them. Confident. Just get that, get that cav to do something stupid. 
They're steady. I mean, it's a one-star cab. If I did that, they'd be wavering. Their stats seem to be absolutely insane. Um, can you guys attack there? No, not charge. Yes, come on. Okay. Keep moving, keep moving. Breckenridge is just absolutely taking it. We're wavering. Okay, Quicksilver, move over here. We've got some heroic guys. Let's see if we can, you know, knock them down a peg. If we can get to fresh. Let's see, they've got heroic over here. All right, let's charge. Let's charge. You guys shoot there. You guys go into there. I really should have melee cap for this, but they're going to charge in too. And the hope here is we can just kind of break this. Get into that and kind of break their flank. Why did you guys turn? What are you turning for? Okay, one of our units is routing, but that's fine, because we shattered a bunch of those. And now somebody else is charging. Hit them, hit them, hit them. Need you to move over here. All right. Now we can push into the trees. Push into the trees, come on. You can go attack all of these guys. Quicksilver, move over here. They're routing, that's perfect. Now we can push up like so. That was... I mean, it wasn't great, but it worked. Keep pushing up. You guys will move over here. You guys will move up over here. Continue over here, and then the, the skirmishing cab is doing a great job. Let's get Stuart up over here. Okay, this is not a great battle. It, you know, it's just how a lot of these are going to go. Okay, charge. Oh, there's skirmishers in our flank again. I forgot about them. I knew they were there. Okay, can you guys just, like, get into position and then turn? And then forest, once they're shattered, broken, whatever, I need you to come back and deal with these pesky skirmishers. Route. Okay, how are we doing over here? Not great, but it works. Come on, guys. Let's form a better line. Yeah, I must have turned this the speed way down because this is a little slower than I would really like. We're going to force that unit to to go into melee. So in order to do that, you just move the unit on top of them. There we go. Are they charging? Skirmishers surrendered. Perfect. Alright, get you guys out over here. Move you guys up. Come on, keep moving. Confident. Everybody's tired at this point, or warmed up. Whatever you want to call it. What is this? Let's go capture 
those uh, those supplies. That that unit's still heroic. They're confident. Okay, I don't need you shooting them. I do need you guys shooting them though. Come on. Cool. Alright, can you guys charge them? I don't know if you'll charge them. Come on, keep moving up, keep moving up. I don't know if they have many men left. Just, uh, you know, get into melee with those skirmishers. Is that our artillery shooting? Good. Yeah, that's our artillery shooting. Okay, they're wavering. Our morale is not... I mean, it's eager. Yes, we could... We could, ch like, charge over here. We're just going to continue into those guys over here. Warmed up, eager, they're routing, perfect. Keep moving up, keep moving up. Hit them. This is a bloody battle, but we're just going to ride or die with these bloody battles because I, I hate to say this, I'm a little I'm a little tired of redoing battles, unfortunately. That's just the way it's going to be. Oh, there's enemy cavalry in the corner. Okay. Um, just shoot them. And then Confederate secured Winchester. I guess their their calves not wanting to do anything. All right, charge them. Can you charge them? And then let's move this up here, Quicksilver up here, and get our troops moving forward to a better position. The more captures we can get, the better. Forgot about that. Okay, we're wavering, but they're routing. Can we move these skirmishers down here? Okay, they're still routing. We might just let them... We're wavering now. So if we if we just let them route, where's Quicksilver? I need uh, need you to help out over here. No, what are you doing? Just move forward. Holy cow! Okay, just move forward. Continue shooting them. And then just form a line. Our guys are exhausted. But I think we've taken almost everything out. Those guys broke. We'll charge into them. I should have shouldn't have charged that far away. Yeah, I need to check the speeds. It feels like I changed the speed back to the base mod game and it's too slow for me. See if we can get these supplies before that timer goes down.
you two are exhausted, that's fine. You'll move up over here. Come on, just... Just run. No, don't shoot them. Capture them. Okay. Why would you turn... And then our units don't punish them for that. They turned on a dime to shoot the cavalry. Come on guys, let's get this. Uh, looks like one of our units... Hmm. Quit running away, you're running away too fast. Alright, you guys now hit them. Alright, charge in. And then I need you guys to move over here. And they all shattered. Okay. 2,500 casualties, not as bad as I thought it was. I thought it was a lot worse than that. So, killed, wounded, missing. Missing. 208. Is missing in this regard where it says missing 208? Are those the guys that uh, shattered and broke? That would be curious. If, if guns are Pandakraut, no. I know I ask you guys all the all the time, but uh, specifically, like it says, zero missing here. I always assume this missing is captured, but when I highlight over here, there's another tab that says missing 208 and captured zero, so I'm assuming missing is like your guys that uh, shattered. As far as officers, this is huge. Um, this really sucks. Absolutely, absolutely devastating. Um, Gosh, I, I'm just like, my officers are dying too fast, and this mod has it to where your officers don't level up very fast, which I'm not a big fan of. Um, historically, like, I mean, what was what was General Jackson at the beginning of the war compared to what he was at, a uh, like, Chancellorsville? I mean, Chancellorsville, he was the third most, arguably tied for second most powerful or most important commander of the Army of Northern Virginia. <laughs> Whereas at the at the first Battle of Bull Run he was just a brigade commander. So not not entirely sure about that. But um yeah, interesting. Not a lot of captured or rescued either. Although it's probably in line with that 10%. Although I feel like I, I captured enough guys to where these numbers should be higher, but I guess I didn't cap- I, I just captured like skirmishers and supply wagons, so I didn't really capture anything of meaning. Their main units refused to be captured, they, they all shattered, so. Not a great battle, but at least I got through it unlike the previous 50 times I tried this battle, so I think the new settings are, are decent. I think that was kind of like the appropriate amount of difficulty. I mean, my units got battered up from that, but... And we lost. Oh man. Yeah, he went down enough. Oh, jeez. Yeah, he lost a star losing his commander. I don't think I've had any commander level up during this. That might be something. I might have to go look at the config files. I, I, I don't like how slow your your guys level up. They would be. I mean. You got field promotions, like, all the time in the American Civil War. Uh, so, I might go in the config files and change that. It's, it's a little too slow for my taste. Um, or, and by a little, I mean way too slow for my taste. So I might go change that in the config file. But hopefully with that difficulty change I made, and for those of you that are curious, I changed the AI scaling and experience to 0.8. Um, we'll see if I have to go higher than that. The standard is 1, so, and, and then in the config file it says, like, some people go between 0.75 and 0.85 to create a difficulty below MG, so 0.8, uh, you know, is the middle ground there, so I went with that for the time being. 
try that out. We'll see how it goes. Let me know, know what you guys think. As I said, I, I can't play this on the highest difficulty. It'll just make me quit the game if I play this on the highest difficulty because, as I said at the end of the day, I'm just trying to get content out. I'm not trying to show off that I'm the world's best general or anything like that. Just trying to, you know, provide entertainment for you guys and myself um, because I really enjoy this game and I like a lot of concepts of the JMP mod, just not necessarily a fan of the difficulty stuff. Um, there's certain difficulty pieces I like and other difficulty pieces I don't like, so that's where we stand after this battle. Man, we, we have no officers. This is disgusting. This is, this is just brutal. Uh, we have no officers whatsoever. Yeah, i definitely going to go change in the config file the amount of experience officers get because I, I should have more level ups than this by this point of the war. I mean, who is it? Is it Archer? No, Archer died. Everybody's dead. Cable? I think it's Cable. Yeah, Cable, six battles and he's still a colonel. Like, eh... He he should be he should be leveled up by now, um, especially especially with uh, not great kills but I mean decent kills nonetheless. So that's my thought process there. But that's going to be it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, hopefully my ramblings on what what I've been thinking about this campaign didn't uh, turn you off too much. Um, just wanted to give you my perspective on what I'm trying to do for the campaign. Um, because I think it's always good to be transparent of, like, I'm not trying to play hardcore campaign. I'm just trying to have fun, but I do want it to be a little bit competitive, and I found, uh, Brigadier General to be just, uh, like, every single test battle I did at Brigadier General was not just, like, a one-shot, one-kill mission, but it was an absolute rollover. Like, an absolute steamroll. There was no... it wasn't difficult whatsoever, so... Just trying to find, you know, the, the difficulty in between. I thought that that one was a decent, decent difficulty there. I, I really had to chain or had to charge the flank to clear out that flank to to get it to work. And the AI still charged, even though it was unsuccessful in its charge. But that's it for today's episode. Please like, comment, subscribe, all of that YouTube jazz greatly helps out the channel. And as always, guys, until next time.